ザ・バンキーボーイエクスペリエンスオバムナアメイゼンリスンユーサンバベイダーサブトレインバイデイバンキーボーイズパーキャスバイナイトオーデイハレルーヤーダイキューロードダイキューロードフォーデスワンダフォーデイダイキューロードフォーデスワンダフォーウィークダイキューロードダイキューロードダイキューロードダイキューロードダイキューロードダイキューロードフェスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナルスティングジュナル
at once a day I would put like a teaspoon of salt in there. That's fine. And then I had um, magnesium. Oh my god! And I had vitamin D three. That's and a I had donut. Vitamin B twelve. Those are donuts. And that's it. I didn't take creatine or anything because it was making me nauseous. Like the first day I did it, I finally started losing weight off of creatine. Like I'm not, I'm on creatine, but, but you're losing weight off of it. Yeah, I plateaued for like three weeks, mm. a month maybe. That's fire. You but now, but brown fat. It was. It, I'm getting rid of fat because it was like a phase shift. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was like a metamorphosis. It was like now I was like morbidly obese. I went from morbidly obese just to fat. And then during that metamorphosis, now it's like you can't go from morbidly obese to skinny. That's true. You have lost weight. You got to go from morbidly obese to fat. To fat. To skinny. To skinny. Well, to skinny fat, and then that's true. You'll yeah. You're you're on the right. You're doing it. You're doing the dang thing, dude. I will say though, off off the seventy two hour thing though, I you lose. Thank you for not calling it a fast. You lose so much like weight just based off of like fake weight. Yeah, like I lost, I lost like fifteen pounds just like fake weight, mm-hmm. and then you I was in the one sixties. I was like, and then I, I haven't weighed myself since I started eating again. But I, I'd bet it, I'm at like I've probably gained ten pounds. Yeah, dude, you're fat as hell. I thought you were skinny. Yeah, dude. Also, uh, I'm healing. I'm getting better. I'm healing. I'm healing. It, dude. It is. I'm getting super fucking nervous about the trip. Why? Dude, the sciatica is so bad, I can barely fucking walk. When is your trip? Like a couple weeks. Oh, you got time. I'm going to a pain specialist What is sciatica? The... The, the sciatic nerve in your lower back that connects to your leg. It, it's split, so it's in your spine, and then it splits here, and it goes down each leg. And the one In your front? It, on the back. Oh. And it's pinched. Uh, Like, my discs are... My disc is, like, slightly bulging mm. well i'm gonna get an mri again because i have to i think in order for them to do what the thing they so need. you could barely move wait so you could barely move and then you're taking mris of your lower back i can move but no i'm saying back then when you you already told the story but i'm only just now reacting to it <laughs> oh i got you no like the first time i had really bad sciatica i had to get an mri before i could get the shots when was that two three years ago and what happened then no, there was no re like nothing happened as far as I remember. Nothing happened. Uh, maybe you just got booty blasted. I in think a hotel. it had something to do with when I was working at Home Depot. I like f- oh. threw my back out. I remember that actually. Uh, and then I dealt with it like two. I dealt with first sciatica you got for a long time. First you got your really good friend fired for his <laughs> job, and then after that. But I dealt with the pain for a lot longer than I'm going to this time because this time it's worse. Yeah, well, you couldn't freaking move. Yeah, and so I'm going to get... That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it, you were literally... It, like, doesn't get much worse than that. I was immobilized. I know, but not only were you immobilized, it's not like... Like, you know, you could be... You could get a back strain that immobilizes you temporarily for yeah. an afternoon where it's equally as bad. Like, yeah. you literally cannot move, but it gets better. Yeah, but you literally had to go and get an MRI because your freaking nerves and shit are getting pitched on. Dude, that's the thing, though, is it's just the nerve. Like, my shit works. Everything works. But it hurts excruciatingly bad, like, almost all the time. Because it feels like this crazy burning sensation going down my leg at all times. It goes in my calf. It wraps around the bottom of my foot. It's on my butt. And it just feels like... And that's just because the nerves up, getting... It's pinched. Yeah, and it's getting pinched up here. And it's just barely getting pinched. But since it's your nerve, it's like, ah! Ah! Something! Something's going on! Hey, hey, just so you know, something bad's happening right now. You just gotta cut the nerve. I was thinking of... Dude, there's like a bunch of different medical solutions. And I'm... Dude, I'm never going to do the chiropractic shit again for this. Because that shit doesn't fucking work for this. Yeah. It works for other stuff, sure. The, I am going back to that place soon, but it's not to get an adjustment. It's to get a deep tissue massage, which does work. How much is that? Well, they haven't billed me at all yet, so I have no fucking idea. But it's if you don't have insurance, a deep tissue massage, I think, is like 45 bucks for 30 minutes. It's which not bad. is not bad for massage prices. And also the adjustments are around that price, too. What if I just started beating the shit out of her? Can she lower the price for me? I hope so. But they haven't billed me yet, so fuck How long have you been gone? I've gone to three appointments. 
Did you give them your info to bill you? I gave them my insurance info, and then I guess my insurance company's supposed to bill me. I have no fucking idea. Or I don't know they, how it works. I don't, or maybe they could take care of it. That would be sick if they're just like, no, there's definitely, that would be crazy if they took care of it. Dude, that was the other thing I was thinking of. The last time I got these shots, I had to pay a lot out of pocket because I didn't meet my deductible. Mm-hmm. But now I'm going around and I'm going to go to the same place and do the shots. So I wonder if that stacks of like years worth of time of like, well, I paid it then and now the deductible has been met. Or does it reset? We're going to figure that out. I have no idea. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Oh, but what I was going to say about the things that I could do to hopefully fix this, not fix it, but like put a Band-Aid on it for when I go on this excruciating trip Mm -hmm. is... Is Is take those 99 proof shots and start drinking them? Yeah. No, I, um, they, you know what gabapentin is? No. It's like an SSRI that they give to depressed people. Mm -hmm. But apparently you can prescribe it to people who have nerve pain. And when they take it, it like numbs the nerve pain. So I could take like brain pills. To You're help gonna them, lobotomize right? yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna lobotomize myself. <laughs> You're gonna lobotomize yourself just so you can go lay in the forest, bro. It, yes, but and you was, know what would help actually a lot if, <laughs> and it's gonna sound like a joke, but I'm being dead ass serious. What would help a lot when you're on the trip out there? If you brought like. Um, like some sort of dildo or something to spread yourself open, and it would actually relieve a lot of the pressure it on might. the sciatica nerve. It could. So it's really got to be an eight by six. What though. if that is what they recommend? Like I get in there, and then they go like, "Look, I know you might." <laughs> there's be- a wine bottle over there. You could. <laughs> yeah, there's there's not a lot you can do for this except this one new procedure that has been getting a lot of good reviews. A hundred percent success me rate. A hundred percent success. Hundred percent success rate on the last hundred <laughs> subjects. That's really unheard of in the medical world. You just have to have sex with your doctor. You have to let me fuck you in your gay butt. <laughs> with my huge cock. With my ginormous dick. <laughs> my giant cock's uh, got a rail. No, I would out. sit. I would probably sit there like this for a little bit. I'd go. I don't know. And then Is I. Is there like I'd a dildo I I'd could go, use? Well, does it actually like will it go away forever? Like, how does it work? Does Only it if away? you eat my cum. <laughs> It'll go away forever if you eat my cum. I swear, look, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Look, I promise all you got to do is All right, fine. Oh, man. Okay, fine, I'll do it. How many times in history do you think that's happened to a woman, like, at the doctor's office, where she's just, like, a 10 out of a million, like, a million out of 10? Where he's a sex doctor. And he's, like, a He's like rapist, and he's like, oh, my God. Well, I could have sex with you, and it'll fix you. It'll heal you. Something like that. Uh, It's definitely happened more than 100 times. Yeah. It definitely more than a hundred. This year. I imagine that in America alone. <laughs> I imagine that when it happens, it happens a lot of times by the same person. Because they're like, that worked? They were like, Oh like, my god. People pay me to rape I would them. probably shoot myself in the head after that happened. The rest of my life would just be downhill. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably I'd probably get back on my feet or something. I'd probably go. <laughs> You'd probably just go back to work. I'd probably just go back to work or something. I don't know. I would kill her and then myself so that there was no proof. What do you of think of crime? the unboxing video, though? Or uh, not just unboxing, but like a pre trip, post trip video. Like where I'm going to have a pre trip video. Like, all right, guys, I'll see you later. And then I come back and then I, I think have a it would be funny if you did pranks on the other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can like, interject that. Like, ruined their trip. Like, uh, like I you have, hunted dude, poison oak. Uh, like, you hunted them and you took a slingshot with, like, do you mean other people that aren't the people I'm going with? No, the people you're going oh, with. Oh, okay. Like, just piss them off. That could be funny, yeah. And then, like, like throwing grapes at them through the slingshot so it, like, explodes and shit. Mm. That could be fun. I don't know if I'll have space for a slangy, but I could definitely do things like go outside of my tent at night and shake their tent when they're sleeping. Oh, yeah. Start rubbing your dick <laughs> on their tent. Yeah. Start pissing on their tent. <laughs> I'm just gonna shit piss. I'm right? so horny, way. <laughs> I'm so horny, way. I just gotta jerk it. Dude, Mexican dudes love watching porn at work. Yeah, yeah. So what? Uh, I can't, can't watch porn right now. It's so yeah. I'm watching yeah. porn right now. Huh? Mm. I'm way. I'm way. I'm so horny, way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this dude. I think it. Look at this dude. I think it'll. I <laughs> look think at this dude. Look at this dude. Dude, this guy can fuck. Look at how good this guy can have sex. This guy can fucking tear it this up. This guy fucks girls really good, dude. Oh, God, that's gay. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Mm-hmm. I hate 
I hate everybody. You know what we also got to do is a uh, a skit that's separate but equal. I love separate like, but equal. Like, separate but equal, but it's, like, us, and we're, like, making the laws for, like, the ideas behind separate but equal, and we're sitting in, like, a jury in like type area. In 1950? Yeah, and then, and then there we go, well... We we definitely got to keep them separate. Everybody just, and everybody goes, yeah, yeah, definitely keep them separate, separate for sure. And, and then, then you go, everybody but in the seats, we, we got to keep them equal too. And then there's like murmuring sort of. <laughs> it's like, but separate, definitely separate. And everybody's like, okay, okay, okay. But we got to, they got to be equal. Mm. I don't know, they got to be equal. But, but most importantly, definitely separate. A- absolutely separate. And then the other guy goes, come on now, now. They're both, they're both. Yeah, it's important. They're both. <laughs> We're gonna call it separate but equal. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be fun. You know, separate. Definitely separate. Absolutely, without a doubt, separate. Way over there. But e- equal. But equal. <laughs> See, I think it could be fun. I think that would be a good one. It's equal. I think the entire sketch show should be revolved around flirting with the N word. <laughs> <laughs> How many times can we not say the N word? Yeah. Yeah, and maybe we could even actually flirt with the N-word, like go on a speed dating thing where we start flirting with the N-word. I would never flirt we with go an on N-word. The date. No, you go on a date with the N-word. I would never flirt with an N-word. No, no, not an N- No, the... I would never, ever... Dude, I can't wait to go to work, actually. You don't have that today, do you? Yeah. What day is today? Thursday. Oh, so you do got it. Why are you going to wear those pants? I always wear these pants. To work? Yes. No, no, no. You just got these pants. No, I don't. You couldn't even fit in these pants a week ago. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I had them. I wasn't wearing... I mean, I wore what them What the yesterday. fuck were you wearing dress pants to work for? They were $8 at Marshall's. No way. Yes, the Marshall. Well, I didn't I, even know you could get pants for $8, honestly. They're they're not very well made. I mean, these they are They seem all right. right. These were maybe fifteen. But fifteen, that's crazy. I got a couple of black pants for eight bucks. I am retarded. Why? Because I thought pants had to be like sixty plus. No, just go to Marshalls. It's all there's like mis stitching somewhere. There's something wrong with them. One leg, you gotta check them out though. <laughs> like One the- leg might be longer than the other. Yeah, like that'd uh, be perfect for me. Yeah. Do the- you know how this the big and tall stores? Yeah. Do you think they have like fat and retarded stores? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called Sheen. It's called Big and Tall. It's called uh, actually no, it's called uh, Torrid. Yeah, that's what I meant. Remember Torrid when we, uh, French Fry Girl? Not French Fry Girl. Fucking uh, Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn Reed is threatening to quit YouTube. So I thought I dude I stopped paying attention to all that stuff. I haven't paid attention. to... I don't know if Foodie Beauty's still even a thing. She's. She wears a hijab. You didn't know that? I think she's like in and out of that though. No, no she's all in. What? But she's not really following the rules. Dude, I'm so fucking hungry. How much do you think I weighed this morning? With a t-shirt on only. Like a slut. Can you stand <laughs> up? Yeah. With just a t-shirt. With just a t-shirt. That is slutty. Um, oh, shit. I'm going to say... How tall are you? 5'10". 5'10? Five, 5'9 ten? Five, and 3 quarters if you wanted to be specific, but 5'10 in the Air 199 Force. 199 is... to 205. That's exactly right. Really? Yeah. What was it? 204. Damn, dude, I'm good at this. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, you got to get under the twos, but that's not I that's... mean, they were I'm but I'm breaking through. I've been at 2 <laughs> I've been at 208 to 211 for the last month. Yeah. So, but that's fine. I think that's reasonable for you know, phasing on to creatine. Yeah, it is reasonable. So you could start. You could start. Um, I think I'm. Start. I I just hit the next gear. Go ahead. You can make yourself puke and stuff. I've been doing that. That's fire. I feel like not That's enough teenage people really shit. do that. Not enough people do that. It's called binging and purging. People. You guys could learn and take a lesson or two from the other half of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys love to binge, but you motherfuckers never purge. They go, man, I stopped listening at the binge part. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Does anybody else binge but never push? Shit, bro. It's to... only if you eat like 5,000 calories, then it's okay. If you're just eating like 1,000 calories and then you do that, you have a problem. So true. I'm trying to think of like, uh, I'm trying to think of other things that people do all the time where they only listen to the first half of the instructions and it leads them down a horrible path. Uh... Yeah, right? It's
it's kind of hard, but it, if there was something, ima- imagine uh, a thing. That you th- you guys think of you it. Guys think, <laughs> you guys do us a favor and fill in the punchline. <laughs> See, there you go. Isn't we that should funny? start doing Mad Libs podcast where we just <laughs> we go through and we have all the the basic ands and ors and things like that, and, and then, then they, they gotta read fill it in. to us. Yeah, and then they send us their comment, and then we read it on the next episode. No, so this could be the first one, but there's nothing for you guys to fill in. They're gonna send video responses, video, filling it out, and we just put it, we clip it in, and then we React. sit there and we go like. Mm. Dude, there are so many. Famous people that have YouTube channels with no subscribers, bro. What do you define as famous? Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin is not that famous. Everybody knows who he is. Like is. No. I think a lot of people do. Like I guarantee you, I've known who he was for like I feel like a, like my whole life. Maybe not my whole life, but like my adult life for sure. There, how, who would you compare him to in popularity? Um, who would I compare Rick Rubin to in popularity? I would compare Rick Rubin in popularity to, like, uh, the fucking Asian dude who makes chains for people. Um, Ben Baller, or something like that. The Asian guy who makes chains for people. I guess he is on the same level of famous as that guy is, and nobody knows them. I know who he is. Yeah. I know more. I think more people probably know who Rick Rubin is than Ben Baller, honestly. But yeah. that's not true. There's a lot of fucking, you know, what's out there. But but Rick Rubin is less popular than, than every NBA player. But everybody knows who Red Hot Chili Peppers is and stuff like that. I think you'd be surprised. Dude, Red Hot Chili Peppers is like one of the most globally known bands. Well, are we talking global or USA? Uh, everything. Everybody in the USA knows Red Hot Chili Peppers. Can't stop addicted to the same thing. Have you said name three songs by them? I could name three songs. I could, Wait, let me think. Californication. Sure. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, huh? That's all I got. Hey, oh, this is what I say. You know that song. And then. And then I can't, for some reason, I can't think of the name of that song. What the fuck is the name of that song? Um. Dude, I don't know. They Maybe, okay, I couldn't even name three either. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Everybody knows Everybody. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Also, name this lead singer real quick. Ah, uh, his. He, I know exactly what he fucking looks like. I cannot name him, dude. Exactly. So I'm like say- John. I'm just saying, people aren't that famous, like unless they're. But I know exactly what he looks like. Okay. He's got like a mustache. He looks like every single gay guy after Can't Freddie Stop Mercury. Was the name of that song? Yeah. And Californication Under the Bridge. Under the Bridge, I actually like. Oh, wait, we're going to get fucking pulled. Yeah. These fucking Jews. That was enough, actually. We just got pulled. <laughs> I, ju- I just got word we just got pulled. We got to drop Rubin, our agent. Rick Rubin made that shit. No. He's the producer behind that shit. Nobody gives a fuck about the producer, bro. But I do. Okay, but just because you're a retard Well, then maybe we can get him on the show. The other person is Tommy Lee. I saw his YouTube channel the other day. He's got 5,000 subscribers. It's crazy. Tommy Lee? The drummer. I don't know who Tommy Lee For is. For sure. That's more of a boomer thing. Boomers know Tommy Lee. Bro, I'm not into live music, dude. Musician is barely even a fucking talent, bro. <laughs> Come dude, on. What are you talking about? You're, you were you're saying like this about Dick, the gymnastics. You're like dick Olympics riding. Day. You're like dick riding musicians now, dude. It's not that impressive that they can do that. Okay? But you were saying this about the Olympics gymnastics teams, too, where you're like not The women impressive. suck. Bro, it's such a bad take. They're literally doing things that like most people can't even get close to doing. Well, yeah, because I don't train 10 hours a day to do that. Right, but it is impressive because you can tell they train She's this tall. Yeah. And is doing some flips. Okay, that's That's fire. what ladies are supposed to do. <laughs> that's what they're, supposed they're supposed to do fucking flips in the field. I'm not that impressed, dude. They're supposed to do cartwheels and backflips yeah. and flipping, flopping through the tall grass. That is what they're supposed to do. That, that Hey, why aren't you flipping? It's like, okay, like... It's the same thing with rowing. Like, okay, you can row. Rowing's cool. I hate it i would like to do it i can't think of anything i would like to do less you don't think you would enjoy the camaraderie of a rowing team like <sighs> no i'm talking about the downhill kayaking like where you go like this and like you move down in the water 
Oh, like a uh, fucking uh, ra- white water rafting. I I guess. Like yeah. where there's like really choppy water yeah. and you're trying to. Dude, that seems cool as fuck. No. No. I like team versus with a ball or something like what about like uh rugby's been getting popular lately rugby's actually okay rugby's better than everything else i'd listen up i like watching women play rugby more than like i'm doing what is gymnastics. it called the smuff the stuff i don't know the rules but like every single time you get tackled you have to like poop. scrub you gotta like poop the ball between somebody's legs yeah. and then a third person has to pick it up a scrub or something like that i have no idea i don't know any of the terminology i've only watched one rugby game and Scrub. it was a U.S. women's team beating the fuck out of some, like, China or something. Like, yeah, my brother has been nonstop being like, dude, everybody likes rugby now. Ever since the Olympics, it's all I get on my feed. And he didn't He's he didn't put two and two together that the reason he thinks everybody loves rugby and that it's all over the internet is because it's on... It's just his algorithm, yeah. right? And it's because the one the girl who's got like the scoring the touchdown, the big whatever, I don't know what you would call it, touchdown points. No, a touchdown, yeah. She scores the big thing. That girl went to his college. And so he's following people on social media who are Wait, re- the giant bitch went to his college? Yeah. Oh my god. And so he Well, I guess that's pretty it's a mili- it was a military school, so yeah, exactly. When you're six foot two and a woman and a beat, when you're a man, yeah. But so she, <laughs> so he's getting this all over. He's like, everybody keeps loves rugby now, and it's like, no, dude, you're following twenty people from your school, and they all reposted it. Yeah, um, he's he missed the point there. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're good at rugby, that's cooler than whitewater rafting. But do you think if I go like, you guys, look, I got a backpack and it's four hundred and seventy five dollars. That would be. That's better than being a whitewater rafter. And then I, they go, and then I go, look, this is my water filter. It was seven hundred and eighty-five dollars. And they're gonna go. And then I go, look, this this is a splint that you would use if you hurt your knee. This is ten million dollars. And then I go, ching ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And so gymnastics is gay. It's for it is for gay people and chicks, but it's like not gay. It's cool. It's. I mean, I enjoy watching it, but yeah. I'm a fair critic. Like, you'd be like, 10, 10. I you, would be. Dude, I, you know they scored the difficulty like 5 out of 10. I did see that on a few where I thought and it was the hardest thing I'd ever seen, and they went like 5.6. And I was yeah. like, what? And then it's like 6.4 was like the highest. But they all seemed really pumped on you 6.4. Know why? You know why they're pumped? Because they could. it's the only thing they can land. They don't go for the crazy things because they suck. I saw a clip from like the 1970 something Olympics where it was like, this is actually a banned trick. And it was the sickest thing you'd ever seen. It was really sick. It was yeah. the sickest but thing. But I don't know why seen. they banned it. Um, Too dangerous. Like, she did it. Yeah, well, we just scored a 10. Remember but... Blades of Glory? The whole plot of the no. film is. Oh. Well, never mind then. I don't watch Will Ferrell gay movies. <laughs> That That's, guy's a fucking idiot. I bet you're like, stop about this is the best movie. <laughs> oh, please, dude. I'm not that fucking bad. That, that is you. That is not me, dude. I'm close to that level, but I'm not that bad. You're like, I love live music. <laughs> dude, stop. <laughs> I want to go to Austin, Texas so that I, I can. I do want to go to live I want to go to Austin, Texas so that, <laughs> so that I can watch live music. <laughs> please, dude. My, I'm a little bit more nuanced than that. I want to go to Tennessee so I can listen I want to go to that girl's trip in Tennessee. Dude, I actually am going to fucking Nashville, bro. I bet you are. I am. And I am. See, you are that bad. To. I'm not going there because it's like. I want to go to. It's the live music capital of the world. It's not. That's the live music capital oh, of the world. Please. It's not my. It wasn't my decision to go. But I'm. Oh, yeah. You're completely helpless in this life. You don't. You uh, You know what? That's oh, true. Dude, I, I guess not you getting carried over my shoulder like a first scene in Shrek, but I'm. I'm you give up the reins to your life <laughs> as no, usual. Please. I knew that. I, I knew to, that. I give it to God, dude. I give it to God. Oh, he wants you in a minute. Memphis. Oh, please. He wants you Memphis. Memphis. What is it called? Tennessee? What is that? Nashville. Nashville. Memphis is the uh, beginning Memphis. of the best type of rap music. That's where Memphis is. Um, Came with the gang. And there's what the is you Bass bang? Pro Shop Pyramid. That's all they got is the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid and 3-6 Mafia. I gotta go bust a nut in the pyramid. 
That would be crazy. And not the not the pyramid, the Bass Pro pyramid. That was the last intro I did for the past episode. Was me going on Google Earth and zooming out and from like Illinois area, whoop, and then down into Egypt where the pyramids were, <laughs> and then uh right where and then I scrolled to the right a little bit, like the nearest street to the pyramids, and then I walked down the street a little and I just pointed at a bunch of shit all over the floor and horses <laughs> and like that dead dog, and That's then hilarious. I zoom out and go to Israel and I go to the wall that separates. Palestine and uh, Israel, and then there's just a bunch of graffiti all over the walls, and then it has like a poster that says "Give." I gave up on my dreams, and I zoom in on that. That's awesome. And that's it. That was the uh, the episode intro. But I do, dude. I do really think that it would be a fun video for me to do like a trip prep video, and then a post trip video where I include footage that I and pictures that I took of the trip, and then like uh, a brief like. I'm telling Overview. you, though, like, the money thing is essential, though. You yeah, because that's what unboxings are about. Yeah. But everything is sort of already unboxed. Like You it, need to put it all in the corner, though, and pan. And as you're panning, it goes, bing, bing. Oh, so I shouldn't do it one item at a time? Well, you can, but... That would be a lot of items, though. Well, you don't have to do every single item. I've got hundreds. When you're doing the pan, it has to be every single item. Ding, 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 that ding, sounds ding, ding, so time-consuming, bro. No, there has to be a UI preset, though. Of just like an animation where you just type in the numbers. Oh yeah, there I'm. I have that motion array stuff. So that's not time. That's consuming. what I'm The time-consuming part is googling how much it costed. Why? Oh, you just say, like, just overestimate everything. Like ten if, billion dollars. If you like, I do like the roughly sign next to everything. Like roughly five hundred dollars. No, you're such a fuck. You don't. You mean the, the till the, day? The about sign. Yeah, yeah. Till like not a. The is yeah tilde. Oh my god! You said the roughly. I was like, what the fuck is a roughly? Well, I thought you were saying R U F F L Y. Roughly, no, I like, was like a, what the hell is a roughly? No, like the sign that people use when they mean about this much. Yes, a tilde. Tilde, dilde, whatever. Get it, dude. My doctor's Sorry, gonna I know. make me have sex with him. Sorry, <laughs> I know English. I get it, dude. I get it. No, but so when I go to the doctor tomorrow, I'm gonna beg him for pills because it, apparently, dude, did I tell you that they said that the guy I'm going to is a quote unquote conservative pain specialist? What does that mean? Don't fucking know, but I'm guessing it means he's not gonna just give me a free ride. You need to go to the dispensary and get a suppository. <laughs> Dude, weed doesn't work for me for pain relief. Have you ever shoved it in your ass? It makes me sleep better. Have you ever shoved it in your ass? No. Exactly. They sell suppositories there. You need a 100 milligram suppository. All right, fine. It's if in I the shape of a dick, though. <laughs> Is it big? It's huge. All right. Well, th will my butt absorb the whole thing? How much can your you ass really on, eat? If you bounce on it. Can your butt really absorb? How much, like, a suppository is small most of the time. Whoa. They could take a lot. Booty holes aren't hungry. Man, that's crazy. I ain't going really, I ain't really vibing with that for real. You better start, boy. What, um, did you see the sandwich I made, bro? Yeah, to That's break crazy. your my fast your or, your weekend in out. your weekend in Paris. I can't believe you, dude. That was a serious <laughs> endeavor. Well, you should have taken it seriously. Oh then. my gosh, dude! The only thing that the vitamins were doing was keeping me from fainting. It was like you don't just go outside, brother. Brother, magnesium was helpful. Listen, brother, you can. There's two things you can do. You can do what you did. Or you could fully give yourself to God for oh three days. <laughs> so it's like, it's fine, dude. It's like... Well, fine, fine. You're right. You know, it's like, take the pills in the morning or say a prayer out in the sun. It's up to you. I did both. Well, then you didn't need the pills. Okay. That's true, but it definitely helped. Why did I just get a voicemail? Should we see what it is? Oh, hello. Uh, I'm calling about from... Uh, it was just calling for confirm... Um... It's at 1.45 p.m. I, what am I going to do? On, what am I going to do? What? My doctor's appointment's at 1.45 p.m. Right now? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? You're going to go to it? Oh, yeah. That's when I'm, they're going to hook me up, brother. And then, God damn it. Why and then I got to go to work after. It's a lot of Coors Light. Florabama, whose is that? Is that the man himself? That's the man himself. Damn, he, he fucking left town? This is a year ago. Oh, why do you have so much beer? Uh, dude, 
Putting down light beers is pretty easy, actually. But that was like four, 40 cases. I know, but I'm going to try and kill 20 tomorrow by myself. Why? What are you doing tomorrow? Watching that 70s show and getting fried and drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> Wait, why don't you watch a better show? I love that 70s show. Or a different show. Because they're getting messed up in that show. Are, do you think you're closer to Fez? No, I'm Eric. You're Eric? Obviously. I'm more like the... the um. My dad... I think my dad literally just watched that show when when it came out and was like, this is how you're supposed to be a dad. The, for the red? Red. Uh, I'm more like the guy... Um, I'm more like that one guy. Ashton Kutcher. I'm more like Ashton Kutcher. You are kind of like Ashton Kutcher. Why? Because you're saying that because he's a pedophile? No. I'm not a pedophile. I know. Okay. Well, if I was a pedophile, I would probably tell you. You don't need to tell me. I would tell you. <laughs> but you're him because he's like retarded I and loves sluts. So I that's do you. What? <laughs> hey! And then... Only one of those things is true. The other Weston is a guy with the sideburns. They rapist? Yeah. <laughs> Gay rapist, homo thug. Yeah. I was trying to explain to my girlfriend the whole racist Weston thing. That, uh, and she didn't fully get it, I think. She thought it was kind of funny, but... Yeah. She didn't fully get the how nuanced it really was. What? What's, no, I'm just what sure. is that? Is that like crazy? Yeah, because she's a crazy You're dumb crazy. bitch who won't tattoo me. Oh, dude, before you leave after this, I got to give you a thing. Oh, hell yeah. But I have to actually I do it I take it still. back then. I have to do it still, though. Oh, my God, I'm so fucking hungry. Why? I didn't eat shit you yesterday. Did, you earned it, dude. You earned I ate, it. I ate like one meal yesterday, but then... Oh, I, you're so, you stuffed yourself. I did stuff myself, but then I was like, okay, well, I'll have some pretzels, and I had a little bit oh, of Oh, you had pretzels. But you then had I, leavened bread? It was actually uh, just wheat. It wasn't even enriched wheat flour. Oh, there was no gosh. soybean oil or any seed oils. I'm trying to limit my seed you oil. You know, some intake. seed oil is not bad for you. Hemp seed oil specifically. Well, I don't think they're going to put that in my Cheetos, buddy. Well, you can put it in there yourself. You could also, you could have avocado oil. That's pretty good for you. I'm just going to stick to butter. You can have butter. You can have olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. No, I lost my point. What were you talking about? You were talking about how you stuffed yourself to the brim. Oh, and then at work, I was like, I'm so hungry. I'm going to go get Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. Oh, what a, dude, that's fire. You could have gotten the box. I could very easily. Well, tomorrow you're gonna do that because you're gonna drink 25 beers and you're gonna you're gonna drive to go get it. Sure. You should actually prep. You should get everything ready, dude. I love doing. I'm the king of doing that shit, bro. What prepping? Like, well, prepping, but like getting myself set. Like, oh, I'm about to chill for like the next significant period of time, and I'm gonna set everything up the way that I need it to be. And I'll make all the food or whatever, and then uh, by the time I go to eat everything or get ready, it's like everything's like kind of cold or. Oh yeah. I do so much prep work, and then but then I still chill hard. Yeah. I love chilling hard, but I love prepping I could, for chilling. I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna be stacking everything I got. Dude, now that I think about it, I should make a business, and the business is that chill. I go to people's houses and I set up their chill sesh. So when they get home, they all they have to do is like just fucking chill. Speaking of chill, dude. Dude, that's actually so chill. Yeah. I'll grind all their weed for them. <laughs> You'll cook a meal for them. I'll too. cook a meal for them and grind their weed, and then I'll I'll roll up their shit, dude, and I'll give them. And then you'll give them your ass to fuck. I'll give them red lights, and they have red lighting. In your ass, dude. I'm getting super deep into uh, red light shit. Oh, uh, dude, you can buy red light therapy stuff. Some of it's crazy expensive. Some of it's not too expensive. How much would you spend on red light fail? Her Dude, you know the mask that you sent me, the Thera mask? Mm -hmm. Do you know how much that is? It's like two grand, isn't it? It's like 600 bucks. Oh, I thought it was more expensive. But it's just for your face, though, so I don't think it's that valuable. Is it the whole face thing? It's the whole face. I mean, that's pretty valuable. What else are people looking at? There's, like, lights that you can get that are just, like, LED-shaped square things with red light, and that is cheaper and also... But it probably it. takes more time to do that. And then if it's concentrated just on your face, it could be a six-minute thing or whatever. But what if you don't want it to be on your face? What if you want it to be on your lower back? Oh, I agree with you. I mean... That's where just, I want it. It's, like, what's important to people? Their face. What else is important for people? For it to be quick and Their easy? Their pussy. Oh, yeah. 
I think red light would help everybody. I think. Oh, wait! Breaking news. Oh no! No! My baby. My dead. other baby. My baby's dead. My motherfucking other baby. Is that a reference to something? That Is I don't he know? No, I used to do this bit when I was like in high school where I would, uh, I would scream, cry, and try to make it as realistic sounding as possible to somebody reacting to them walking in on their child shooting themselves. Uh, uh, and I would go, I go, honey, I got you. Mystery to you why nobody liked you, huh? <laughs> that was a real, th- that was a real stumper to you. <laughs> that was a real head scratcher for sure. Those are real. <laughs> that was a real. This guy sucks. And this guy sucks at acting, and they won't stop <laughs> acting. No! And he keeps going over and over. <laughs> My baby. No, wait, you ready? My baby died. <laughs> That's better. My. Baby died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good actually. Wait. Oh, my baby died. Holy freaking crap, Lois! Our baby died. Do you really think? Don't talk to me right now. My baby just died. Hold on, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> See, finally, some real acting <laughs> My skills. My baby died. Wow, 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 Hop, 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 hop. No, I just did all that. <laughs> oh, no! uh, oh, Lord. That would be so fucking. Have you. Uh, mm. I was just thinking about kids killing themselves. Yeah, that would suck. That sucks. I didn't know where you were going with it. Also. Yeah, that would bum me um, out. I'd be yeah. bummed out. That would kind of piss me Hot off. Hot take? Though. It would make me sad. It would piss me off first. Yeah, you go, fuck! I'd be like, now I gotta clean this up, huh? Ah, uh, you didn't even put a tarp down. You didn't even put a tarp down, motherfucker. I taught you nothing. I start smacking him around. You taught you nothing! <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. Yeah, it would make me sad, too. That's how I... You do grieve... People grieve in different ways. Speaking of chill dudes... Oh, shit, yeah. Chill dudes. The guy at my work that I work with is a totally chill dude. Oh, man. no. In what way? So, there was this new girl, right? She's gonna start on Monday. And she was walking around. Yeah. And, you know, people were making jokes, obviously, right? Because it's a factory, and she was a objectively attractive woman. Sure. A feminine form, you could call it. Yo, hey, bitch. Oh, my fucking God. Are you serious? Are you going to be working here? (laughs) (laughs) Could you imagine that? I would do something like that. No, I would never do something like that. That would be... uh, I didn't even like doing that. That's so cringe. But (laughs) my manager was talking to her forever, and everybody was commenting Was he trying to make her laugh? Was he like, oh, yeah, so like... I don't even know. I was yeah. I'm like kind of the boss around here. I was trying like not to pay attention. Oh, wow, honestly. you're like the boss. I'm like you're so strong. And then uh, wait, the containers are 300 pounds sometimes. How do you get that? Oh man. But anyway, this chill dude. Uh, the manager comes back after talking to her for a while, and he said that, that another manager walked up to him and was like, "Hey, are you gonna hire her? Because if you're not, I want her." And obviously that didn't land right. And then the guy, the chill bro that I'm get, getting to is like, oh, she's not an object. Did you guys all at the same time turn and look at him and go like, shut up, you homo? I, I was just like, okay, I can never tell this guy anything. 
What a weird. And and then uh, the ma- same manager come in or er, came in and was talking about the first manager and he goes, "Yeah, this fucking dumbass screwed us over by not leaving." And he goes, "Did you just call him a dumbass?" Like literally with that tone in his voice. Yeah, that guy needs to leave. That needs to go. He needs to get fired. He's just being chill though. So it's he's like, just so chill. Like I can't. He's just even like play. really looking out for everybody. He's, like, he's really just so got chill. He's back. He, I guarantee you, on her first day, he's gonna be the dude who's the rapist. Like he's the guy. Dude, he smells like shit. What? And the girl next to me. <laughs> How does he smell bad working there? Dude, it's crazy. It's actually insane that we can smell him. And the girl next to me is like always talking about how much he smells, even when he's in the room. T- get a shower. Going. It's crazy. Don't you guys have like a chemical shower there somewhere? No. Damn. It's they don't give a fuck. That seems against OSHA. There's not even a water purification. Like they just spill dirty water all the time to the city. Ma, what do you want me to do? Literally, dude. Everybody's such a fucking idiot. What, I, what I am I supposed to do about that? For weeks now, I've been complaining about inventory labels not working. So when I go to scan something, I have to manually type it in instead of just scanning it. Yeah. So that takes forever. Right. And every day that goes on is more and more labels that get ruined and have to get replaced with new labels that don't work. Right. And it's been three weeks. So it's gotten to the point where almost like half of the ones I have to type in. And I told my boss and boss, like, hey... You know, sorry to you know tell you this, but we need inventory labels that work because, you know, we have to print labels and they don't scan. And when they don't scan, we can't get our lines because we're too busy typing it in. <coughs> and she goes, it's a process. That was her answer, that it's she doesn't know when it's going to be fixed and that it's a process. It's chill as fuck. That's like chill. Do you, hey, do you think there's ever been a funeral so ghetto that they have the kid in there wearing a shiesty? Yeah. Like, he's dead, but they got him in the shiesty still. Hell yeah. And then they go... That's what they're going to do for me. Do you think they got... Like, do you think they ever bury anybody with their glizzy? Yeah. And with the drum? In their ass. The glizzy with the drum? and the Get the glizzy religions. in the ass with the drum as the balls? With the true religion and the shiesty, and they go, he died a real gangsta. <laughs> you think they ever, do, like, wrap up a dope boy? Do you think they ever, like, toss him a fucking dime bag with some shit in there? Hell yeah. Do you think they pour them out? Oh, yeah. That's fire. They pour out the 40s on them. The buzz balls. That's fire, too. That's oh, my God. It's going to be so too. awesome drinking all that beer. What do you... Why makes you think that it's going to be awesome? I love drinking Bush Light peaches. But th- th- ooh, and it's peach, so it's like cider almost. No, it's really good. But isn't it going to make you have like a wicked headache? No. Not even the next day? No, I can drink... I can put away 15 easy and not feel anything the next day. Yeah. Once I once I start pushing past that, if I'm not doing it for like 12 hours, mm. I I mean, if I'm doing it for 12 hours, I could hit 20, I'm sure. But 20 beers? Yeah. I could drink 20 beers in 20 days. That's just because I'm a real... You're a man and I'm like a sissy. Yeah, see, you get like blacked out and I just get hornier the more I drink. You just keep gooning. So I just, I just tell my girlfriend to start... Is blowing she, me is she while I'm watching that 70 show. Yeah, she's going to be there. Oh, she's going to begin drunk with me. Oh, so you're only going to have 10 of them. Or you're going to have 20 and she's going to have 10. No, she doesn't drink beer. She's going to drink some... I don't even know what she, if she's going to drink. You, you got yourself your own shit, right? Like, I'm not... You, you can't <laughs> have any of this. That's true. I should get some shooters, too, actually. Cut, I should get fireball shooters and then get her do. some poppers. Yeah, release that anus Yo, for me. Babe, come on. We're like 20 beers deep. Uh, do it. Do it. <laughs> come do on. It. Don't be so boring all the time. God, I fucking hate you. I your knew sister it. would do it. Yeah, I know. I knew your sister was so much cooler when your she sister, did this. Yeah, whatever. No, I'll just call her again. I'll just call her. Can you call your sister, actually? Do you know if she's busy? She's Get her probably over not here. busy. God. We got a baby or something, right? I don't even know. God, she's so stupid. Dude, just like I, you. what are you guys? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> You guys are fucking stupid. You guys even busy? Come on. Come on. Now you're really starting to piss me off. No, I'll be good. Ugh. I'll be, uh, Dude, I'm... you never had pe- peaches? I think I actually have had one. Or no, 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 no. no. I had like apple or something. Oh, yeah. Apple was big. Apple's trash. Peach. Peaches were a big hit last year. They brought them back. They brought them back. Why? Is it because it's getting into be fall, fall soon? Or? Dude, it's one of the only beers I could chug. It's crazy. Do you think you could shotgun the smack out of it? Easy. You, you should do some shotgunners. 
You know what I was thinking about doing to cut down my calorie intake was buy a nine. I saw that somebody do it. Is buy a ninety nine one, like crack open a beer, put, put the ninety nine in, and then shut shotgun in it. Yeah, dude. That's, that's like, like it's called a snorkel. Ugh, that's nasty. That's fire. I should do it. I used to do that shit all the time, bro. Yeah. When I bartended in school, brother. Wait, you're not a bartender, though. Uh-uh, not anymore. Actually, I am still. That's crazy. The nuance in here is crazy, dude. The dichotomy is crazy, bro. You're a freaking slave, dude. <laughs> dude, you're, like, literally born on this earth to be a fucking slave. <laughs> oh servant mode. You're a fucking servant for 25 years, a quarter century, a slave. That's the name of your biography, a quarter century, a slave. <laughs> like lo- local, local <laughs> surf mode. I'm on my surf shit. No, surfs at least had houses. Surf you're like dumb. a straight slave shit. Slave captain. Yeah, you're like worse than a surf, honestly. Yeah, dude. Don't hit me with that 12 years of slave shit, brother. I've it's been in it. Quarter century, a slave. Quarter century, <laughs> centennial <laughs> slaves. <laughs> yeah, that's fire, though. Honestly, that's like pretty chill. And if anybody in the Chicagoland area had their window broken recently on the golf course, you're a little pussy. You're a bitch, dude. <laughs> Fucking skinny, lightweight dude, little boy. I can't believe he fled. Hit and run, hit and run, babe. That's what he. That's what we did. I still on his didn't wife. message him about it, but I wanted to so badly. I want to be like, oh, dude. Man. Somebody keeps calling me, like saying they know you. I, I don't know what's going on, bro. You got like, a call from Safe Flight? I don't know. Like, I it's cool, man. I didn't tell him anything. I wanted to contact you first, but like, what's going on? I need to know. Just curious. I mean, I'd like to know. You know, as your buddy, did you happen to do anything revolving around? I don't know. They keep mentioning like golf or something. I don't know, house insurance policies, or I don't know. It's kind of vague. I don't know. Did you, like, rob somebody or something? Like, this guy, like, home invasion? Did you bang somebody's wife and, like, they catch you and you're running away? Yeah, like, just hit him up with, like, I don't know the full details, but something's going on and I don't know what's up. I don't think, uh, I think he's over it now. Do you think so? Well, he's pretty convinced it wasn't his ball. And I am, too. What? Yeah. Why? Because he was, like, in the field of play already when we hit. (laughs) Like, he was out behind the sand pits looking around when we hit. Mm. So then when we drove over there, like, like why would he be in the field of play if not already to be looking for somebody that had hit his house? You know, He just I mean? blamed you first people he saw. Exactly. You guys, you guys should have went, fuck you. No, we didn't. We he was hit huge, the ball. bro. We didn't even hit the ball yet. We did. We didn't even do that. We just drove away. You should have like pulled your gun out and shot him in the head. I know, I should have. That's insane like a for dog. him to run at you. A giant bodybuilder behemoth where... You, honestly, You should have cut blocked him. <laughs> you should have just like jumped should've... down and cut blocked him. Honestly, I could have. I got good form. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, Get college football in... game is actually pretty fun. No. You, don't, you, you just don't like college football. I just don't like college Adam football. Adam loves college football. Yeah, he likes LeBron James too. True. That's a good point. Dude, he's also chill. He's a little more chill than I'd like to admit. Do you think he would be cool if I went to his place and set up like his chill sesh so when he got home? Like do you think we should just start living with him? Hey, dude, do you think he would let me? Not you, us. Oh, together? Yeah. Okay, that's baby fire. Do you think he'd let us? Uh, like crash at his place for like two or three years? <laughs> I mean if we paid the mortgage, probably. Dude, can I crash your pl- in your place for like three or four years? Can we just chill? Can we just, I just chill, chill at your place for like him about thirty? Ten, twelve years. Can I chill here till about thirty? About thirty, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Yo, can you let me just chill, Do you bro? Think Billy's, like, till like I'm thirty, bro. Billy's still waiting to hit a growth spurt <laughs> before he moves out of fucking it. I don't block. know what his uh, fucking CT is. He's probably I could see him and the the S man living together for show. They would do so bad together. Dude, when his life was falling apart, that was so fucking funny. Is it better now? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My first friend in this life. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh dude, he's so That's annoying. So, that is so crazy. Literally, that was my first best friend ever. And then you just threw him away. <laughs> and now I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Dude, I don't give a fuck if he's drinking all day and he's all He's not night. even drinking his drinks. He's, he's drinking drink other people's drinks, drink, getting picked up, getting Dude, driven around, no doubt. she's pretty upset about that for somebody who loves charity. 
I know she does. At least she pretends to like black people. I know she's just doing it for the. I heard her say the n word a couple of times. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. She. Inv- I heard she invented it. I, I think so too. Actually, your girlfriend invented it. That's so funny. You so true. Dumb bitch girlfriend invented the n word. Maybe she'll do. <laughs> and the she tattoo. won't even tattoo me. Well, she's embarrassed, dude. Why? Because she invented it. She doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah, she can't sign it though. No, true. Even though that'd be hilarious. Signed by her. <laughs> Quick look. The N word signed by her. <laughs> that would be funny. That'd be cut. funny if her signature was longer than the tattoo itself. No, it can't. An be. arrow pointing like It would have to be with one needle. What if it just did like a cartoon like that's he pretty racist. You didn't say they were Indian. You said they were black. Well, Indians it would make more sense. Exactly. It was either that's poop. Black people, they, if anything, they overcompensate. They smell nice, dude. They use a lot of do products. do smell good a lot of the time. I feel like more times than not, they, like, overly... Yeah, dude. Is it worse to... Okay. Now... Mexican guy's crazy. Oh, dude. They're the worst. They, the, they put half the damn bottle. I would rather somebody have slightly bad BO than have really bad cologne shit. But if they have a really bad BO, I'd rather the cologne shit. I would... Pia is disgusting. It is me. disgusting, but the the overwhelming. Unless well, you, you're a woman. <laughs> 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 then I want to get all up in it. That's gross. <laughs> I'm a pitch sniffer. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the I'm in the women's locker room sniffing all the sweaty socks. <laughs> 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 That's dis- I mean, yum. <laughs> yum. I, mean, I, know, I'm I love breaking, that. I'm breaking into all the lockers and. It's sniffing the sweaty, sweaty t shirt. That's I guess. disgusting. Whatever they got man. in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um, yeah, teething I, on it. I've been trying to get back into exercising at a hard rate, and it's been hard. I've been like light exercising. I need to start going to the gym at one in the morning. Yeah, is that 24 hours? Yeah, I park right next to it every night, so. So you have no choice but to look at it. I have no choice but to look at it and, and see that it's always empty. And then you go, I could be in there right now. Do, I think do they starting, have any free weights? Yeah. Do they have a sp- and they have nice pulleys, too. Fire. Do they have a pull-up bar? Yeah. Fire. That's all you need, brother. You just need to buy an ad roller. Yeah. Dude, that was a pretty big discovery. I'm not getting an ad roller until next year, if that. Yeah. Uh you could do Slow it. and steady, bro. I could not dream of doing one. My hamstrings are way too tight right now, but I guess, I guess, brother. No, my abs are also my left side of my abs are way stronger than the right side of my abs because of golf mm. and because of my posture. Because I stand with this foot relaxed, with like drops my hips. I do that too, and it is bad. And, uh, do you guys have any advice for us on how to have better posture? I gotta go eat, dude. I'm starving. What Fuck time this. is it? It's one ten. Uh, they well, got enough. They got right? enough. Well, do you go, wait? Uh, do you think uh, they would like the the um? They're gonna like the video, bro. Money. That's a good video. And that I'll, is gonna like. They're gonna like the money. That's key. The money is key. That's because they're materialists. Exactly, and because it, it forces engagement. Because people only engage with things that they know they can correct. Should the, the thumbnail be like a big dollar sign with like a camping backpack, like? Uh? No, the the thumbnail should be a lie. <laughs> it should be like straight up. Spend ten thousand dollars on camping gear. Yes. What? And then just include your laptop and the price of that. Yeah, and my laptop. So I'm filming with Actually, my laptop. the laptop camera and, and everything yeah, would and definitely be. Ten grand. I'm using my buddy's camera and my laptop. So it's like ten grand. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. All right. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Make sure to pause our little neg holes down below. Pause it up. And it, in my ass. Yeah.